Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. This is Zach over at NV Woodworks. So today we're going to be casting a little miniature train car in a turning blank and we're going to make a project out of it. So stay tuned, let's get started. All right guys, so we're going to be casting a little mini train car. This thing is tiny. It's I think it's the T-scale model train. And so it's actually one of those that could actually work if you had the full set, you know, the engine and all that stuff. Um, but it's pretty cool. This one is awesome because it has my logo on it. So John sent me this train car and this one's mine. I'm going to be making some ornament blanks for him. He wanted to make some, some Christmas ornaments with little train cars in them. And so this is exactly why I was doing all the suspending, you know, objects and resin testing. And if you watch those series, those, those live streams, you'll know that I couldn't get rid of the witness line. No matter what I did, I tried a bunch of different things with every type of resin out there. I even, uh, I didn't have it in the video, but I even did polyester resin, same results. So I've given up. I, as far as I'm concerned, there's no way to suspend something that has any mass to it that could sink uh, in resin and then pour another layer on without seeing that division line. So knowing that, John and I actually came up with a, a plan of attack, and it's actually John's idea. So rather than trying to hide it or just ignore it, uh, we're actually going to accentuate that line. So we're going to pour half the blank. Uh, pour, you know, about half, half of the, the resin in there. Once that's set up, I'm going to take it out of the pressure pot, glue our little train car on, and then add a little bit of white pearl so it looks like it's kind of Polar Express-like. It's going to be going kind of on, on the ground with some snow on it. That's the effect that we're kind of shooting for. And at that point, you know, it doesn't really matter that there's a line because we're going to use it, basically. So uh, I thought it was a brilliant idea. I think it's going to be kind of fun to try it out. So uh, with all that said, you know what the plan is. Let's get some resin and mix it up and get it casting. One hour later. Well, all right, we got our first pour done and it's looking good. So the next step is we need to add some effects. And what I'm gonna do is just use the same resin that I used to pour this, uh, Lumalite Clear Regular Set. Uh, I think it's a pretty good option for this type of thing. Uh, it's a, a faster resin. It's gonna be quick turnaround time. I don't have to wait forever. Um, just keep in mind, you know, if you're just painting on a thin layer, it's gonna take longer uh, for it to kind of fully set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of white dye to the mixture and then also add a little bit of, uh, you know, pearl powder into the mixture. And I'm gonna kind of basically paint it onto this top layer of this, this, this first pour. Uh, the other thing that we wanna do is lock down the train, you know, kind of glue it down. So let's get on to the effects.
All right, that went really quick, actually. The Alumalite Clear regular set, I mixed up about 30 grams total, uh, added all the stuff in there, and uh, I would say that it's pretty much ready to pour. Uh, and it's only, I don't, I didn't time it, but it's only been about seven, eight minutes. So uh, I think I'm gonna wait just a couple more minutes just to make sure. Uh, and then I'm just gonna mix up some resin, pour the rest on top, and then we're gonna be ready to rock. So uh, one thing that I do wanna mention is I tapped on some, you know, just little pearl powder on the top. I have a feeling I'm going to try and pour fairly carefully, but I, you know, some of that stuff is kind of loose. It wasn't all like, you know, stuck in the epoxy. So there probably will be a little bit of pearl that gets lifted up into the clear. Realistically, that'll just kind of make the snowy effect even more, I think. So uh, I think we're going to be good to go. So let's get this second pour done. One hour later. All right, everything's looking good on this blank. Uh, the snow effect turned out exactly how I was hoping. So I'm just gonna set this blank aside and wait for it to fully cure. Then it's time to turn it up. All right, we are fully cured, ready to turn this bad boy. I'm gonna add a glue block to one end so that I can grab a hold of that and just waste it away. Um, but I wanted to stop and mention something that I didn't notice uh, in that last, you know, a week ago, let's say. Um, on the bottom, you can kind of see there's this little shiny spot and I didn't really, I wasn't really paying attention, I guess. Didn't see that, but you can really see it on the side. What that is, the, the snowy effect didn't really bond that well to the top layer. Now, that could have been, I was kind of touching the top of that before I painted on the, the snow. Maybe some oils from my fingers got on there and kind of caused a bond issue. Um, maybe just because it's so thin, I, you know, I don't know exactly what caused that. Typically, if I just pull something, you know, with a Lumalite, if I pull it out, as soon as possible out of the pressure pot and just dump another full layer on, usually there's never a problem. It'll bond fine to it. Um, but in this case, it's a little different. And I think what I should have done and what I would definitely do on the next time is I would kind of scuff up the top of that before I painted on that snowy effect. That'll just give that snowy effect resin layer, that thin layer, something to kind of bite into on the blank. And then, you know, we don't have any issues with this second pour in the snow on the top. Um, that's all pretty good bonded. I, it should be. So um, just wanted to kind of point that out. I am going to be careful. I think we're going to be okay, but I'm definitely wearing a face mask when I turn this and I'm going to be kind of going easy on this thing just to make sure that it doesn't kind of come apart while we're turning it. That would be kind of terrible. So anyway, I think we're going to be good. Let's get that glue block on and turn this thing up.
wow, this thing turned out really good. I'm excited about this thing. The, the whole idea, what I was trying to do, you know, add that snow to kind of cover up the line. It worked out perfect. There was no problems turning it. Um, I added a little bottle cap and I was, I was happy that the, the bottle cap, the one bottle cap that I just randomly had laying around was a frosty root beer bottle cap. I thought that was perfect for a frosty scene. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. I guess the only things that I would say are, are not good about this, you know, you can still see that, that kind of shininess on the bottom. Um, and you know, whatever, I'm, I'm going to leave it horizontal. Uh, this little burl that I kind of just sanded up uh, is a pretty cool stand. So I'm just going to be leaving it horizontal anyway. Uh, and if somebody picks it up, they'll see the ugly bottom, but whatever, you know, <laughs> can't worry about that. Uh, but everything else turned out great on this thing. Uh, big thank you to John for sending me this train that I could use with my logo on it. This thing was awesome. Uh, I hope you guys try this out. It was a really fun project to make and it was, you know, it turned out great. You could do all kinds of different effects. You know, you don't have to do like a snowy uh, look to it. You could do pretty much anything and it kind of gets rid of the, the whole, you know, horizontal line thing that we had a problem with. So, uh, and if you guys do make projects like this, definitely tag me on Facebook or Instagram. You can tag me at Envy Woodworks or uh, my name or, you know, just, just search me out. Tag uh, Duncan Junk, uh, hashtag Duncan Junk. I'll, I'll, I look at those. So I definitely want to see what you guys make. Uh, so anyway, it was a really fun project. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, if this is your first time on the channel, we, uh, we do all kinds of resin casting projects, tips and tricks, and experiments around here, similar to this one. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified when new videos get posted. And if you're thinking about getting into resin casting, but you're not really sure where to begin, check out my ebook, The Beginner's Guide to Resin Casting. It answers all those beginner questions like, what resin should I use and what do I need to get started? It'll get you over that initial learning curve so you can get into the shop and start making some resin casting projects of your own. It's available on my website if you're interested. So until next time, guys, happy casting.